Albert Einstein said, everything is vibrations. But if this is true, if everything is just a form of energy vibration, then there should be a process where new vibrations come into existence and others cease to exist. Also, this process should be able to explain why we have a future that is always uncertain and interactive relative to our actions, with a past that is always unchangeable and only really exists as a memory of the individual. Such a process has to be a physical continuum that is unfolding at the smallest unit of vibrational energy, the light quanta of quantum mechanics. Therefore it is unfolding photon oscillation by photon oscillation forming a great dance of energy exchange with new photon oscillations continuously coming into existence. I believe we see and feel this process as the continuum of time itself. Many people have said that time cannot be explained as a physical process, but I disagree because all the hard work has been done and only a new interpretation has to be put forward. At the level of the atoms, this process has been explained by quantum mechanics. And at the level of everyday life, the photon oscillations are the carrier of the electromagnetic force with the movement of electromagnetic fields and the flow of electric charge. This has been explained by Michael Faraday and others. The interactive part of this process has been explained by the interactive geometry of Einstein's theories on relativity. This theory is very simple. The outward momentum of light forms a forward flow of time within each individual reference frame. At the quantum level of the atoms, this will be in the form of the quantum wave particle function or probability function. This probability function will form Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, representing the same uncertainty we have with any future event within our own reference frame. This happens because light is a wave until it comes in contact with the electrons of an atom. When it does this, it will form a photon-electron coupling representing a new moment in time, with matter-antimatter annihilation being the process that annihilates the past. Matter, in the form of electrons, are continuously interacting with light forming new probability wave functions of future possibilities. Therefore, we have a continuous renewing process forming the future photon by photon. On the scale of our everyday life, this will form the movement of electromagnetic fields with electrical potential representing our own future potential within our own reference frame because the process represents the flow of time itself. The precise definition of the difference in potential energy between two configurations or reference frames is as follows. It is the work done by a force external to the system solely in changing it from one configuration to the other. Standing to the electromagnetic force, we have to do work by putting energy into something to create the potential of our own future within that reference frame. This makes even more sense because in Maxwell's theory of magnetic fields, any moving charged particle creates a magnetic moment. Because positive and negative charge is an innate part of matter that keeps cancelling out, this process is universal and continuous, forming a continuum of time, moment by moment. It is time variations within magnetic fields that act as a source for electric fields and time varying electric fields is the source of the magnetic fields. When one field is changing in time, then a field of the other is induced. This will be relative to the position and momentum of the object creating the time variations. The atoms themselves interacting with the electromagnetic waves have new photon energy coming into existence relative to the position of the atoms forming what we see and feel as the flow of time. The greater the energy in space the greater the curvature of space-time 
and the stronger the electromagnetic field is at that point in space and at that moment in time. In this theory, the universe is in a process of continuous creation, and therefore electromagnetic waves do not need a propagation medium, because each new photon is a new moment of creation, a new moment in time that changes the curvature of space-time as the future unfolds. This is possible because in Einstein's relativity every object has its own reference frame. When the object moves, space-time moves relative to the energy, mass and momentum of the object. Therefore every object is always in the centre of their own created reference frame. This is a universal process from the largest planet spinning around a star to the smallest living cells. Everything forms its own reference frame by slowing down the rate that time flows relative to its own energy, mass and momentum. Just by walking across the room you will slightly alter your own experience of time and space and in doing so you will create your own future relative to your own actions or energy, mass and momentum forming your own arrow of time within your own created reference frame. Because this process is universal, conscious energy in the form of electrical activity in the brain is the most advanced part of this universal process. The continuous flow of ideas and emotions that form consciousness are always in the moment of now within their own created reference frame. It is this process of each one of us having our own individual reference frame that gives the brain the concept of mind, with each one of us having our own unique view of life. This process is totally universal and interactive, from the largest object to the smallest creature, right down to the smallest element of the periodic table, will slow the rate that time flows, forming a curvature of space-time, relative to its own energy or mass. In this theory, gravity is a secondary force to the electromagnetic force. Objects just free fall towards the greatest mass or energy because it has the slowest rate that time flows. The second law of thermodynamics falls out of this theory. The organization for the spontaneous disorganization of entropy is formed by the spherical symmetry of the quantum wave particle function. The spontaneous absorption and emission of light forms the flow of time, with photon energy cascading down, forming greater degrees of freedom for the flow of entropy. An artist will take energy and time to create a work of art, because the atoms of the hand and eye have bonded together, forming the movement of electric charge, creating their own potential future. Creation is truly in the hand and eye of the beholder in this theory.